All right, man. Sketchpad podcast. We back. Shoot, sure like, share, subscribe to the page. Look, man. So today we're gonna be talking about Robert Downey Jr. Robert Robert Downey Jr. Make sure I say that right. Um, becoming uh, Doctor Doom. Very interesting. Um, yeah, and we'll be back. All right, man. Look. So Marvel is on a course to rewrite history again and leave DC in the dust. Um, I'm going to give my thoughts on uh, this whole thing. You want to go first because I might be pretty long. All right, I guess. Yeah. Um, well, uh, at first, um, I was like, that's weird, you know, because um, we all know Robert Downey Jr.'s iconic role for the Marvel Universe is Iron Man. I mean, he's played Iron Man all the way until he died. You understand? We're, we're going back as far as the early 2000s, he has played Iron Man. So... For him to play Dr. Doom all of a sudden, it kind of was confusing to me. And But um, they kind of made sense of it, I heard, which I haven't seen the movie yet, but they said they kind of made sense of it. Uh, if you go see um, Deadpool and Wolverine movie, they said it kind of, it will some of that stuff will kind of explain Robert Downey Jr. and the role of Dr. Doom. So I don't know, but this is what I heard. So it could be wrong, could be right. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I was confused. I, I didn't, I was like, well, you know, I understand the whole universe thing. So maybe he's a variant of Dr. Doom or whatever. Then I thought about, uh, I thought about the uh, universe thing, um, different timeline, all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Because we all know Wolverine died in one timeline, but he appears with uh, Deadpool. You understand? And then we all know in another timeline, you know, Captain America was an old man. And then this timeline, you know, it was just confusing for me. You know what I mean? So. If you're not a comic book guru and you don't read through stuff, you're going to be like, what? You know what I'm saying? And I read and I still was confused. So it just boiled, it just come down to the point where, you know what I mean? You're just going to have to go see it when it comes out just to figure it out. But there will be people out there that will be able to break it down and explain it better than me. But you know that's that's kind of how i took it i was just like well you know he's a different variant or different timeline that's how i kind of took it you know even though it still didn't kind of make sense to me but technically iron man is dead and um the whole thing with the iron man being in a different timeline uh, from what I understand, Iron Man's in the same timeline as the Fantastic Four, and just it was just it just was confusing. So, best thing for me to do is just see it when it drops, and then I could probably understand it a lot better. But yeah, it was mind boggling. Good actor, very good actor, you know what I'm saying? But I just thought maybe they should, um, you know, re re redo the role with somebody, you know, different, you know, you know what I mean? They didn't, you know, what else can I say? <laughs> you know what I mean? But Hey, it is what it is. Um, you done, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Okay. I'm done. Um, so there's a bunch of, there's a couple of different things, um, with this. I never really attached the role of a person to the actual character. I think that's a big mistake that most of us make as Marvel and DC fans. 
I made that mistake with a lot of characters because they've been playing them so long that you associate that person with the character. So it would be Iron Man would be Robert Downey Jr. And nobody else can play that role but him. You know what I'm saying? Now, there was a Doctor Doom before, uh, what's the name, in the first Fantastic Four movie with Silver Surfer, there was a Doctor Doom. I can't remember the actor's name, but he played Doctor Doom. And that's when Dr. Doom fought Silver Surfer. Played Magneto too, didn't it? Didn't no, he play it Magneto too? It's a different guy. Played, oh, okay. Uh, right. he, he didn't play, uh, this guy didn't play Magneto. Guy that played Magneto, that's Michael mm -hmm. Fassbender. He didn't play uh, uh, Dr. Doom. I know exactly who Michael Fassbender. That's mm -hmm. one of my favorite actors of all time. So I know who he is. Um, mm -hmm. the, thing about, the thing about this whole thing is I think it's a, I think it's a, a how do I say this? After what all the all the bullshit that Marvel has been through with all the woke bullshit and all the movies they put out, the trash movies they've been putting out, this is a jolt to the system that's going to get asses back in the seats. You know what I'm saying? Robert Downey Jr. being being uh, Dr. Doom is going to make so much money for them. So much money. It's going to get people to go back to the theaters again. You know what I'm saying? Well, I say overwhelmingly, maybe, I don't know. But for the most part, that's that's some of the biggest news that we have heard in the in in comic book movie history since uh I don't know, since for a while. This is big. First of all, he's coming back to be an actor in in the films. That's big. You had Hugh Jackman came back. That's big. So, and he wasn't even in the Marvel Universe. X-Men wasn't never in Marvel movies. So, mm. them crossing over with the X-Men now is going to be in the Marvel Universe, the Marvel Universe in the movie theaters. They already got Spider-Man. Spider-Man is not a part of the Marvel Universe in the movie theaters, but they got him in there. Because Spider-Man is part of Sony and Sony associated. So whenever you see the beginning of the movies, it's always say a Marvel association associated with Sony, even uh, uh, what's that? Uh, Venom and all these movies. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. Now, how do I feel about Robert Downey Jr. being Iron Man? It doesn't matter to me because, again, I stop associating the character with the actor. I think Robert Downey Jr. being um, being Doctor Doom is another epic role that he's going to control and take over. You know what I'm saying? Now, the issue would come in as, is he going to play two roles? You know what I'm saying? Is he going to be Iron Man and Doctor Doom? Or is Iron Man dead for good and he just coming back as Doctor Doom? I honestly think that that's exactly what should happen. Iron Man should not come back. It should just be... Uh, they should just have whoever they have these Avengers, the rest of the people that's alive, work with those actors, and you bring in the X Men. You know what I'm saying? And you bring in whoever else. That's how I feel. Now, as far as uh uh DC goes, the problem with DC, and this is the reason. This is another reason why DC will never catch Marvel. Ever. You know what I'm saying? When you got rid of Zack, Zack Snyder, that's when it went all downhill. Zack Snyder was the only one to me that had the vision that could have captured the audience and kept the audience intrigued when it comes to uh movie going. You look at all his movies, DC with under Zack Snyder was a serious uh, they were serious. The movies were serious. It was enough for people to distinguish the difference between the two because you can't have two, two genres, well, two, not genres, but two type of entities that's just alike. It doesn't make sense. It don't make sense to have Marvel family friendly, funny, uh, 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 quirky, uh, good storylines versus DC family friendly corky good storylines like then people go to the movies and they don't know what's the difference 
So I understand Zach made DC more darker because if you read the DC comic books, they're much more darker than Marvel. We like Marvel has some dark comic books. Now we talking like the universe of the movies, but the comic books in Marvel was very dark too. I'm not going to lie, but DC is known for their multiple different stories simultaneously. So for example, you got injustice, black is night. You got a, 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 a whole bunch of different storylines running at one time. Sometimes you got the, 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 uh, uh, Russian Superman, the, uh, 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 all of that and I think that all of these stories the problem with Marvel and the problem with DC is they're so afraid to do a new story you know what I'm saying like if I'm DC the first thing I would have did as soon as they uh, announced Robert Downey Jr. was did the Batman who laughs that would have been the first story I would have did the Batman who laughs and showed the Justice League getting killed by the Batman who laughs. And he took over. And did I would have did a whole three, three saga series of the Batman who laughs. That's what I would have did. Because that story is insane. You know what I'm saying? That's another jolt to the system. But the problem is Marvel and DC, more DC, they want to keep re reintroducing these heroes every 10 or five or four or whatever years we've been dealing with superman for how long how many superman has it been how many batmans has it been how many spider-mans has it been every time we turn around we have a new batman new spider-man new this new that this is why robert downey jr played that role for so many years it was a big deal all of them chris hensworth robert downey jr uh uh chris evans all of them playing those roles for years, that's a big deal. Because they now they now solidified that role. But you had Ben Affleck as Batman, Christian Bell as Batman, uh oh, Michael Keaton as Batman. You had Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck in the same movie as Batman. So they can't stick yeah, to playing nothing. The same character. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. they from different they from different uh multiverses. They were from different multiverses, but most people can't process that. All they know is that Batman and that's Batman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think that the the to me the biggest issue, the biggest issue with these with comic book movies was the woke shit. I'm glad they starting to get rid of that cuz them them the, whoever was writing those movies was trash. But to me, the biggest issue is they keep trying to rewrite the movie. Like, just like, so now DC is ran by James Gunn. So James Gunn fired Henry Cavill. I don't care what he says. He could sit here and say he didn't fire Henry Cavill, but he did fire Henry Cavill. You know what I'm saying? You got rid of the guy who everybody was asking for to continue as Superman. And he was telling people he was going to continue as Superman. So if he did another Superman role before this Robert Downey Jr. thing dropped or anything dropped, the movie would have came out this year. It would have came out. It would have been out. Everybody wouldn't want to see it. Right? But no, mm -hmm. he fires yeah. him and he hires this new guy, David Cornsweet, to be Superman, which he looks like a pretty good Superman. But his movie doesn't look good. I seen the uh, uh, the photos. It looks like shit. And this is what you got to compete with. Because see, Marvel has their shit together. No matter what you say, no matter how much I try to hate on Marvel, even though I don't like some of their shit, they got their shit together. Their actors is already solidified. You keep jumping back and forth and keep... Nobody's going to ever take DC serious. Nobody. DC is, is, is done. Once you got rid of Zach, it's a wrap. Can't, you can't do nothing with the characters no more. Now you got the, the DC Dark. That's going to be successful with the Joker movie. Because I don't know if you've seen a review of that. That's possibly movie of the year. That come out in October. Mm -hmm. The new Joker movie. Now, I don't like the fact that it's going to be a lot of singing in the movie. I can't stand that. 
I liked Sweeney Todd. You ever seen the movie Sweeney Todd? The the uh the uh, mm-hmm. Barbara Butcher or whatever with Johnny Depp. Mm-hmm. Check it out. You might like it. Mm-hmm. But it's a lot of singing in the movie. It's like a musical. You know what I'm saying? And I believe that that's what they're going for with the new Joker movie. So when you get a chance, I don't know if you've seen a Joker movie preview, the uh the preview of it. It looks really good. Like it looks really really good. You know what I'm saying? And I think that mm-hmm. I was surprised that they made a Joker too. And another mm-hmm. thing too, they don't, what really makes me mad, and I know I'm going on for a while, but it is what it is. What really makes me mad with these movies is they don't really stick to the source material. You don't have to stick to it a hundred percent, but they don't stick to it all the way. Like how you got a Joker movie with no Batman? <laughs> how does that make sense? Where is Batman? You got Batman as a child, right? You got him as a child in the movie. He's he's a kid. The Joker is much older than him. Arthur Fleck, he's 30 years old or whatever, right? I never read that story in the comic books. Never. Usually the Joker. And then you try to say that the Joker and Batman are brothers. That's what you were alluding to, right? And don't get me wrong. I like Todd Phillips' Joker. I think it's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it's actually really good. But my problem is you focusing on a Joker, but it has to be an antagonist. It can't be the antagonist is is Batman's father. Like, huh? He, he didn't wear the bat suit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At least have Batman in the movie where he's playing the background and you see him on TV allude to Batman being the guy. You know what I'm saying? And then lead up to they confront each other, maybe at the end or whatever. But you build up to it. Don't show Batman through the movie, but have the Joker mention there is a Kate Crusader and you know what I'm saying? And allude past him. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's kind of like watching him in the background. You see him there, but he's not in the picture. He's in the picture, but he's not in the picture. You get what I'm saying? And I think that's what the problem is with a lot of these movies. They try to exclude, even like with the Harley Quinn movie. How you excluding the Joker? How He made Harley Quinn. How are you excluding the Joker out the whole movie? Hmm. How do you do that? That was an epic blunder. That's like, that's like, bat, that's like, I don't know. Spider-Man got so many enemies. So let's just say, the Avengers and one of the biggest Avengers uh, enemies. I don't know. Let's say let's say Hulk. Hulk's Hulk. Uh, his one of his biggest enemies was I don't know. Uh, Legion or, or Legend, whatever his name is, right? Leader, leader, right? And you never have leader in the movie or anybody in the movie, but you just have the Hulk through the whole movie, and he he's fighting other people that or, or have nothing to do with nothing like. Or you have Hulk and, and you don't have no Betty in the movie. You never talked about Betty and nothing. Like, come on, bro. This is what I mean. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm very passionate about my comic book movies. I'm I'm very, I'm very passionate. And I think that DC is done. I don't care what James Gunn do. Because I'm not interested. If it ain't Zack, I don't want to see it. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? Zack Snyder is the... When it comes to DC... He's the best rendition that they ever had. Everything he did to me is epic from DC. Everything from Watchmen to to a Man of Steel, Justice League, uh, BVS, anything you think of that he had his hands in. Wonder Woman, the first one, not 1984, the first one. You know what I'm saying? Anything he had his hands in was epic. But all this other stuff that they doing now, like no. Nah. No, I don't I don't want to hear it. So that's my take on it. I think Robert Downey Jr. They they just they just sparked another they made another I guess the, how could I how could I say this? They they put a spark back in the comic book movies with that with that announcement. I think that that was something that is gonna get people to go back to the movies. And they might do another 10 year run off of this. I could see it. Cause they got two they already announced two movies. Now they announced a lot of movies. And most of the movies ain't going to ever see the light of day. But they announced 
Avengers Dot Doomsday, I believe it's called. That's coming out mm-hmm. in 2026 and in another Avengers movie in 2027. So these probably was already in the works. So, but it is what it is. So I, I had to go on a long spill. Sorry. So, you got anything else? Nah, that's I'm it? good. <laughs> all right, all nah, right. you know, like I said, like I said, you know, um, I did, it just was kind of confusing to me because, you know, you're right. I attached, I attached Robert Downey Jr. to, to that role of Iron Man. And he's been known for that role for so long. So I'm just, I'm very anxious to see how they're going to pull this off when the, when, when the actual movie comes all out and what they're going to do, if they even going to bring back Iron Man. You know what I mean? Or they gonna explain a timeline situation, whatever. I'm very anxious to to uh to see that, you know. I don't I don't uh I don't think they're gonna do that. I think this is gonna be a whole new story. I think mm. they're starting over. And that's the to me, that would be the greatest thing they ever did. Instead of them mm. doing a whole well, this explaining this, no, this that was the end of that story, and this is a new story, where Iron Man is this Iron Man, and Doctor Doom is Robert Downey Jr. I think that that would be amazing if they did that. If they did that, that would that would that would give them another ten year run, and they got the Russo brothers coming back. They did the Avengers before, like that would give them another ten year run. Mm-hmm. It's like what. I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck DC doing. Man. I'm so mad right now. I'm hating because I want DC to be just as great as Marvel because they can be, man. But they just, they just, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say no more, man. But it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. But yeah, man. All right, man. Told you to talk. Combat Convo, Sketchpad, all the shows. Make sure I go follow. We out of here. See y'all. Peace.